there is certainly hope when we cherish our stunning Irish landscape and wildlife. And just look at this well-protected monastic city of Glendalough. Shane Lahan, well done. You have just completed St. Kevin's Way Pilgrim Path. How are you feeling? Oh, it was just fantastic. It was great. Can you imagine when all the pilgrims were coming into this wonderful place? This was up above the skyline. This is the icon. They knew it was the monastic city. They knew it was there. But the real secret to understanding about this particular building and structure right throughout Ireland is its Irish name. We call it Clig Tiach, the Bell House. And this was essentially a belfry, not like the big bells that we think in the big cathedrals today. But in Ireland in the past, we, the monks were, all had their beautiful hand bells, small little bells, almost like a meditation bell. And I often think of them going up to the top of this tower, the four windows on top with the cardinal points, that this is a place apart. It's a place up in the sky, as close as you can get to God. And I think it's, it's got a special significance for people in the past. And you wouldn't want to have a fear of heights. No. <laughs> And then behind us, we have St. Kevin's Kitchen. Like, why is it called a kitchen? Well, have a look at it. Look, it looks like the round tower that they eventually incorporated into the church itself. It looks like it's a chimney. And you can imagine people, the popular mind said Kevin was making his food in here and so on. But it wasn't. In fact, it's a really distinctive and important piece of ecclesiastical architecture where the campanile, where the bell tower, is connected into the structure. Well, just looking around, I mean, the scenery is spectacular. It's stunning. Nature really is at the heart of St. Kevin's Way. It is. And you know, the, the whole idea of the retreat of the idyll into the mountains, into the lake, into the sunshine when it bakes down inside here, it's a very elemental place. And I really like all of the stories about Chrivin, uh, St. Kevin, and his association with nature, the blackbird, that when he laid out his hand in prayer, the blackbird made his nest, he didn't disturb it. He had a pet otter uh, who used to give him food every day. There was a doe that would be milked into the deer stone as we call to give milk to the children that were around. This is really the I ideal of nature. And, I, and you know something? I really would love you to, to get that sense of his hermitage. Go and check out St. Kevin's Bed, which is just down the valley. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Shane. And I will keep an eye out for St. Kevin's Bed. And one person who hasn't been resting here at all in Wicklow is Derek. Recently, he visited another special place. So take a look at this. <laughs> 